Hello and welcome to the In Wills Interval, a monthly YouTube video that focuses on strategies and survival tactics for fellow streamers. In this month's episode, I want to talk about the importance of providing value. Streaming is a harder job than most people think. Often they see it as if the streamer is just playing games while other people are watching and that's all that they do. But streaming is much more than that. As a streamer you need to provide value to your viewers. This value is what makes them stay in your channel and to watch or listen to your stream and to hopefully come back again and again to eventually become part of your community. If you search the internet, you will find that there are four different areas of value that you as a streamer can provide. And successful streamers definitely provide one or even more of these. As you listen to the rest of this video, make a note which value you relate to most naturally. And then make a note about how you communicate this while streaming. After you've done that, then go back and listen to the next one and repeat the process. It takes a while, even after all my years of streaming, I am still working on the final one. So don't see this as something that you can do and complete in one session. Keep coming back to these and adjusting the value that you are providing for the community. Okay, first up, really the one that I struggle with the most, education. So this is when you are providing information about the game you are streaming. You're providing an education to the viewer. This might be how to complete certain parts of the game, what are the best builds, how new players should start the game, how, well, you get the idea. I'm not really an expert of any of the game I, games I play. I'm working on this at the moment, trying to find a niche within a game that I can play and then build up my understanding and knowledge of this niche. One area of educational value I pro can provide is advice to new players, especially if I'm streaming Elder Scrolls Online. Because I can offer this value, I do put in my tags new players welcome or beginners welcome so that the viewers are aware that they can come in and ask questions, which can be the very basic questions I do not mind. Okay then, so have a think what educational value do you provide while streaming? What do you do and how can you encourage viewers to come and watch you because of this value. Next up, entertainment. Now this is a very personal value. You definitely need to perform while you are streaming. That energy and interaction with both the game and the community is often what brings viewers back again and again. I have to admit, I am rubbish at playing the games that I stream. I miss the obvious. I frequently fall to my death while trying to jump and that's why me and platform games do not mix and even games like Guild Wars 2 that has loads of jump puzzles that I really do struggle with. So yes, I'm not very good at games but what I do is make it into an entertainment value. One of these streams I'm actually going to wipe the floor with someone in the battlegrounds or finish the last boss of the arena. However, until that day, I will continue to make mistakes, fall off things, and tell really bad jokes. Remember, it's up to you as an individual how you entertain, but share your humor and others will appreciate it. Many times watching someone stream can actually change our mood completely because of the entertainment value it brings. Okay, halfway through, two more to go. And the next value is relatability or being able to relate. 
This is a strange one, but really, it really means that people can relate to you as a streamer and you can relate to your community. Initially, I do this via engaging in discussion topics that everyone can contribute to. It was in episode 5 of this series of videos that I talked about planning your stream. So if you haven't listened to this, then go back and have a listen and see how I create discussion topics to make my streams more relatable. As well as topics for discussions, talking about the game you are streaming and the difficulties you have had often makes you more relatable. Saying how many times it has taken you to complete a boss, agreeing with people when they mention how difficult things are, sparking off conversations about certain aspects of the game. Essentially, you want to try and portray yourself as one of the viewers. It is not the streamer and then the community. It is just the community which includes the streamer. So consider ways that you can connect with your viewers how you can include them in your streams and how you can ensure that they consider you part of the community as much as they are and that will help you promote that relatability factor. And finally, the value of being inspirational. This final val value has so many aspects that it's really difficult to narrow it down to a couple of examples that I could provide for you here. Initially, you could be inspirational because you are streaming. I've had many comments from older generation like myself. I was 56 years old on my birthday a couple of days ago. They see that I am streaming at my age and that has encouraged them to stream as well. Persevering with a task within a game can also be inspirational. Seeing someone achieve something, especially if they can't do jump puzzles at all, like myself, can be inspirational and can actually mean that viewers will go off and achieve it themselves. The day I actually perform well in one aspect of player versus player will be an inspirational moment for the community. They know what I have gone through to get to that point and I hope that they will be inspired to complete a similar task within any of the games that they are playing. Remember, you don't need to have all these values in place before you start streaming, but it is helpful to consider one of them at a time and then decide on strategies that you can implement to show that the value is in place. And remember, each value will be unique to you as a person and a streamer. And that's it. I'll be back next month with some more successful streaming strategies. If you have any questions to ask, then do put them in the comments and keep an eye open for my shorter videos that I produce on this topic. Until next month, stay positive and productive and enjoy your streaming. See ya. Bye.